In this video, I'm going to walk through my process of painting a mini from beginning to end. The gray render is a great example to be able to show all the techniques we can use in working with minis. To start with, I want to clean up any of the flash. I found this really nice uh, pencil X-Acto knife um, that you can click button and remove. It's very sharp. You need to be really careful, but it's fine blade really takes care of flash quite easily. Then in some of the other areas where there's just small bumps and lines, I utilize a nail polisher and there's lots of bits you can get and a diamond head bit that you just throw in this little double A battery nail polisher is fantastic for cleaning up folds and mold lines and weird little bumps or things that just don't look right and you can sculpt with it. The gray render really looks like a rhinoceros with huge teeth in my mind. Um, so I'm going to start basically with black washing. I want to get all the shades and the creases black washed with a very thin, uh, watered down, plain uh, matte black in order to create that depth. That sets up all of the dry brushing that I'm going to be doing later. And the black wash is pretty quick and easy, but I have to let it dry. When I start dry brushing, I'm going to go in multiple layers. And I want to think about what rhino or elephant skin looks like, which is primarily sort of a gray with maybe some browns mixed in. So I start with my darker grays first. And, you know, I dry brush, but I don't really take off a lot of the paint. I just don't put a whole lot on to start with. Um, and then as I move up, as the contours of the folds and the creases and the bumps start to appear, I lighten my gray. I add a little bit more white, trying to create more um, contrast. And then find those areas where the sun is really sort of hitting those grays. And then that's where I'm going to be hitting with the lightest of almost a white. And in some cases, if I think it's too much, I'll often just tap with my finger and try and take some of that excess off. But I want to create that musculature you can see, the folds in the skin, the bumps. So I just keep on my wet palette that mixtures of white and gray and black. And as I see things sort of showing up, I want to create more depth by going from a black wash and a dark gray dry brush light gray dry brushing and then those highlighting whites kind of light grays um, where I think sun would be really pulling that out. If I think it's too much I just tap it with my finger. The big contrast point of this mini is really that's mouth and we've got a tongue, we've got a hard palate, we've got a throat and so I'm gonna start with a red wash deep inside that mouth. Um, and if it hits the gums and gets around the teeth a little bit, that's okay. Looking at this mini, I realized there must be areas where like in the palms and in the feet or near the neck where there's going to be thinner skin. So I added a very light wash into those areas and trying to create sort of where there are creases like in armpits after I did that, a little bit of a wash to pink it up to flesh size the, uh, the dry brushing, I wanted to start getting into the details. So this mini has some bright gold eyes, or this character. So I used my absolute smallest brush, which is a 20 yacht. Um, and I can literally just put like a drop of gold paint in each of those three eyes on both sides. And letting that gold be a little bit thin, it just drips in and is held within that inside. The next step is using a gloss black on the nails. When I looked at artist rendering of the gray render, um, these nails were very prominent on all four feet or paws or hands, feet, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. And um, I noticed that a lot of animals' claws tend to be very glossy. So I used a gloss black instead of a uh, matte black. The next step is let's bring those teeth out. So how do I get those teeth to start showing up? 
In some cases, I, I saw art that had black teeth. I, I think an animal's as enamel and they have um, dentine. That's, that's going to make teeth more of a yellowy white. And many animals, especially predators, um, they don't have the cleanest of teeth. So I didn't really want to go with a white. So I started with a buff color uh, and then hit those outer sharp ed edges more with a, um, like a, a, a bone color. And so then that way you can really see that there is yellowy teeth, but yet the sharper edges are going to be highlighted in maybe a dry brush of lighter white. Now I want to hit those, like the nostrils and the pupils. And once I hit those, now I can use these quick shade washes. I'm really a fan of these Army Painter quick shade washes because they really blend the, the, paints together they bring more depth to my paints um, and I like to be able to use the different washes in the different areas so using that red wash in the mouth around the gums a little bit in the throat the palms the heels really makes the feet look like they're more live a dark tone wash beautifully combines the black wash and the gray and the white dry brushing I'd done before, I thin it out with water. I usually don't use it straight from the drop. I like to use more of a, um, uh, like a 50-50 mix. So I will add water. And if, it, if I think it's going on too thick or too glossy, I'll thin it out again. So I did that to the whole mini. Primarily, it was red in the mouth, a little bit of flesh wash in the neck and around the hands. Then when I hit the base, the base was basically the same. I wanted it to look like wet rocks. So here he is, a very quick, I think it took me maybe a couple hours total. Um, primarily, this is washes and dry brushing and details. And then you use the quick shade washes to clean everything up. When you're all done, make sure I always spray them with a, a matte varnish and that mini is ready to play with.